Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Rufus Randolph, and welcome to the Call of Duty Helpline, the show where we prevent the casual and average player from experiencing this. to giving them the necessary skills to do this. To prove the validity of my tips, I have helped the likes of Juice Man Benji, who is quite clueless, from a very low KDR score of about 0.5, all the way up to nearly 0.8, which will eventually enable him to reach a ratio of more than 1 overall. And now, he consistently finishes in the top half of every scoreboard. Observe. I shall now be taking your calls, so you don't bust your balls. Ha 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 ha. Right. Without further ado, let's get cracking, shall we? Right, yo, here's our first caller of the day. Hello. Um... I don't like how you just mentioned ladies and gentlemen in your introduction. As someone who identifies themselves as a traffic light. This question has no relation to Call of Duty. And I have no right to answer the question. But I will give you the exception. So, here is my answer. Lucifer is your father. Ha <laughs> ha! Next caller, please. What kind of name is Rufus? Oh, crafty bugger. Could we start verifying the callers, please? <sighs> Next caller, please. Hello. Dude, my KDR is terrible. Please help me. Please. <laughs> Firstly, there is no need to cry over a game. There are more important things in life, such as dipping a biscuit exactly halfway into your tea. Now let's proceed to my advice. If you are looking to improve your KDR, I would advise you to play on hardcore mode due to the fact that your position will not be revealed on the radar, whereas on the regular mode one will shoot someone but then one will be spotted by a better and more experienced player. However, having said that, you must choose the right class. Have a go at using this class. I must say, it is absolutely spiffing. And this is why. The primary gun, the STG-44, has good accuracy, but most importantly, has a great magazine size. This factor is important because you can reload less, as well as that, you can start to shoot early. Observe. This tactic can only be successful once you've mastered shooting from the hip. Moving on to the combat shotgun. This weapon should only be used indoors or areas that are enclosed. Observe. Deny the enemy resupply. However, if you happen to forget switching, do not underestimate the range of this shotgun as it does pack quite the punch. Enemy care package observed. Next caller, please. Damn, I keep getting my ass cap, bro. Help me out. Uh, I misunderstand. Please show me a clip. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Ah, I see now. 
I was expecting a video of someone putting a lid on a donkey. But never mind, let us address these clips. The biggest mistake you are making is that you are running into the open too often. Next time, try to keep your back to the wall. Observe. This should then reduce what you call being kept in the ass. Next caller, please. Hello. Hello, see. I, I keep to I keep I keep running into the fire. Please help. Please elaborate with a clip. Ah, uh, see, si, Senor Rufus. Enemy recon aircraft observed. Oh, poppycock! I can't fathom what I've just witnessed. That was ghastly. You must be a descendant of Satan himself. Ah, next caller, please. Hello. Hiya. What do I do if I find myself behind early on? Like, how do I recover like? Thanks, mate. If you find yourself behind early on, you should slow down, take a deep breath, sip some tea, and own an area. Now what that means is stay in one section of the map until your score recovers. Observe. But please, don't camp. Camping is for people that drink coffee. Right yo, that should be enough to suffice for today. I shall return for another episode. But for now, thank you for listening. Good day, good night and good life. What's crack -a people? Thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this, well, the subscribe button is there for the clicking. I'm also selling some cool gaming t-shirts. If you want to check those out, I'll leave a link below. I'll also put the link to my Instagram and my Twitter just underneath. Thanks again and I'll see you later folks.